For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Driven by Dream. And today we have one special car behind us, and it is a SLK 55 AMG 2005 model. Now, I saw one particular YouTuber called Movies Garage also bought his girlfriend, which is quite interesting. Because he's quite kind of the king of buying second-hand cars and this was also a auction vehicle like he likes to buy his cars and it's one solid vehicle and there's nothing wrong with it everything works perfectly and it's just one hell of a car and for the price you are buying these cars at the moment you can't buy anything else I mean <laughs> it's this or Polo I mean pick your choice get one nice sounding V8 or you drive a Polo, yes you have more fuel efficiency in a Polo, but that's not what it's all about, is it? Now another thing that is crazy about this car to me, since it is a 2005 model car, let's not forget, that is 13 years ago about, um, the interior is a wonderful place to be. You have these wonderful bucket seats that holds you tight and firm and really makes you feel like you're sitting in one hell of a special car. You have sat nav. You have everything you need in this vehicle for a luxury cruiser and a super fast sports car that is going to keep up with any of these new sports cars that is available at the moment on the market, which is crazy to think about. Once again, you can buy these for very cheap at the moment. Now I think that's enough talking. Let's go for a ride. Then let me tell you more about the specs on this vehicle and let's listen to how this thing sounds because it makes one hell of beautiful noise This is not a hairdresser's car. This is one serious, serious sports car. I mean, it has around about 355 horsepower and 265 kilowatts. And they, that makes for one hell of a 0 to 60. 0 to 60 happens in 4.5 seconds. But Car Magazine tested it as much faster than that. Uh, they got a 0 to 60 time of about 4.2 seconds and some even less but I mean that's got to be perfect conditions there's no way that's on gonna happen to everyone every time so it will matter on where you are going to test it and what the road is like and all those type of stuff but that's one of a hell of a crazy 0 to 60 time for this vehicle now let's talk a bit about the engine. This is the same V8 that is in the E55 and S55 of the day, but it just doesn't have the uh, supercharger on it. So although they have the supercharger and their horsepower is around 455, this still has the same 0 to 60 pump. So that shows you what lightness can do because this is really like taking a Mazda MX-5 and put in a huge V8 in it. There is no other way to describe it. It handles, it corners and it goes like hell. Now, Auto 60 isn't all this vehicle is about. It's still a luxury car. You've got all the luxuries that you really need in a vehicle and all coming from that era of vehicles and when you take the roof down, these are like 
electronic scarves, if I can call it like that. They heat up the back of your neck and you have heated seats to keep you warm even if the roof is down so that you can enjoy the roof down anytime when you want because let's be honest sometimes when it's very hot you really don't want the roof down you would really rather like the AC on and have it feel cool in the cabin of the vehicle instead when the roof is down we hear that extraordinary sound even better than with the roof on so you're gonna want to drive it more with the roof off than with the roof on but we haven't really tested that 0 to 60 times so or well, what it feels like when you get your foot down on this car so let me quickly show you because it is quite extraordinary now you have three different modes down here nothing crazy it's manual sport and comfort at the moment we're in comfort we'll put that into sport and let's give it the beams we are going 20 kilometers an hour and let's go that is one insane acceleration you can say what you want if it's an old car if it's a new car it doesn't matter it is some crazy acceleration and noise coming from the back of this vehicle now if there's one part of this vehicle i can really critique it's unfortunately the gearbox it's not as responsive as you would really like it from a sports car it doesn't mean it's bad or so but once you are in manual it's not really as responsive as it should be but that's because it's still it's basically an automatic gearbox with the Diptronic onto it it's not a single clutch manual gearbox or a double clutch like most of the modern cars and I'll quickly show you I'm putting it into manual now the downshift now and then downshifts and even upshift now and then upshifts so it has quite a delay on the shifts let me just quickly show you again so i'm in third gear i'm not going to accelerate a lot and shifting now and it shifts so that's the only real critic i can have of this vehicle but when you're in sport you really don't need to use manual because in sport mode this gearbox is phenomenal it shifts when you want it to shift on red line and it downshifts when it needs to now guys i really hope you enjoyed that video of this little awesome car as i said it's the mx5 with a v8 in it and you really can't go wrong with buying one of these you'll only spend a lot of time at, ga at gas stations but hey that's a price to pay for one hell of a car and it's German built, it's properly built, you won't have any big problems with it. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share and look through some of the other videos. And there's going to be plenty more review videos coming up like this one. And I'll see what I can do to get the production side of things up a bit. But at the moment, I hope you guys enjoy this. Cheers, see you in the next one.